Oops. Panties. Alright, last night I finished up H2O's one year anniversary show that you saw. Uh, I'm about to compress it now, but then I gotta go get ready. I got like 15, 20 minutes and they're gonna be here, so let's go. <sighs> gonna need a lot of this today, man. It's gonna be fucking hot out today. Stanky out there, man. Mmm, leftover fried barbecue chicken breakfast. I'm gonna need a lot of carbohydrates today, man. Seven o'clock in the morning until probably nine o'clock tonight is when we'll actually get back. The show probably won't be over till eight o'clock. All right, time to take my supplements. Um, obviously, I take a lot of fucking supplements, man. Take your fucking vitamins, kids. Look at all those fucking pills. God damn it. No, but seriously though, I have that. Some of you might know I got that implantable defibrillator. So these supplements are necessary. And also don't forget to wash it down with a nice, tall, tasty, frosty pint of fucking milk, man. Bye, boo-boo. Bye, Creechy. I love you. World famous internet cat. You're pretty cool. Yeah, alright. It's uh, 7.45. We were supposed to meet up. Looks like Joe might not be able to make it because uh, sleep caught up with him. I'm trying to get him uh, to figure out a way. He's got a motorcycle. I was like, just ride your motorcycle out there and stay sober today. I want to go say goodbye to my kids, but then they'll be, you know, crying if I walk away. Just say goodbye to Rebecca. Mommy's going to get the kids in a little bit, and I'm going to go outside and wait for uh, for uh, Stolfer and Will to get here. They might even already be out there. I don't know. So let's go check, but I doubt it. 7.45 is to make sure that we're on time for Stolfer. He probably won't be here until like 8.15, but, you know, it's all good. Alright, Stolfer's here. A little, hey. a little late, though, but, you know, it's all good, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Me too. Beer. Put the ice in, Will. Do the ice. Do the ice, Will. Do the ice. Do my cans of hams fit on top? Yeah, the hams fit. Ham. Alright, we're rolling up to uh, CZW Tournament of Death, motherfucker. Stop for driving. Got the fish eye. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but yeah, here is the back. It's an Easter Bumblefuck, man. DJ hides parents' backyard. Yeah, see right here this little turn. Is, is it? it? Yeah. No, that's one more. Wait. Yeah. The, the, uh, there it is. One right this here. one right here. See, even veterans. Yeah, even we can't we even can't find, find where the it. fuck it is. This literally, this is where you go. This is as underground as it gets, man. You're literally going into a backyard right now. And it's not just like, oh, look, we're here. No, we gotta go. Yeah. And keep going. Keep going way down. Trampoline this year, man. It's crazy. Yeah, here it is. We are the early arrivers. Stalfer's gonna be. Jerking off a lot today. Yeah, there's the ring. This is Will's first time here. Yeah. Setting up shit. Bumpy as fuck, and this whole field is gonna be full. Jimmy's got poop. Still extremely early. It's not even noon. Still uh, just fucking around, man. We're having some beers now, hanging out. Alright, so we're grabbing our tickets now. Earlier, they're a little busy. Still busy, obviously. There is so many people coming to the show this year. Six Over 600 pre-sold tickets already. And the line, the car line is down way out there. I'm going to actually take a walk with the camera and show you just how long it is. Hi, Danny. Fat ass is by the ring. And it just keeps going and going. I'm going to just walk all the way down until it ends. Still going and going 
and as you can see there's a hill so you can't really see but it just it keeps going I'm just gonna keep walking and it just keeps going and it looks like there's a truck over here in the mud that is not good all right so I just found out that that is a uh, I believe Danny Havoc's truck I'm not sure but if it is Havoc I'm sorry that fucking sucks that is like a swamp man I don't even know how you got it over there dude what in the fuck Devin Moore to the rescue here. How the fuck did that even happen, man? I'm gonna get away. That's gonna be mud flinging everywhere. That thing ain't going anywhere. Well, this has made the vlog a lot more interesting. Can't film the wrestling in the ring, so we'll be getting the behind the scenes here. Something you're not gonna see on this channel, Devin Moore. Tried to get Danny Havoc's truck out of the fucking mud here. Oh, man. All right, so now I'm over here at the end of the driveway. And as you can see the road, it just keeps going and going and going. It's TMD, man! Boss, yeah. Alright, so it looks like it's finally starting to, well actually no, there's cars down there turned off. I'm not going to walk any farther, but you know, you get the idea. There's a lot of fucking people coming here today. As uh, Devin and Danny try to get that out of there, I think he went romping. Alright, so I'm walking on well, my way back as I pass Danny's car. Sorry it happened to you, but if I did that, you'd be laughing your ass off. But uh, you know, they'll get it out of get a, Wait till everybody gets in get a fucking tow truck or something, I don't know. Gustafer over here doing, wait, fuck. Look at Stalver over here doing camera. Who gave you that expensive camera? Yeah, this camera's no joke. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Are you gonna go get Havoc's car? I got it from James. Are you gonna go film Havoc's car over there? Where? It's I caught in the so mud. He went romping in the fucking mud, dude. Uh -huh. I swear to God, Devin Hat was trying to get it out of there. Hey kids, who's gonna win CZW Tournament Death 16? DJ Hyde. DJ Hyde, all right, DJ. DJ. I take it you guys are family then? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, the piss sauna. It is hot as fuck in this. Look, man. Goddamn spaceship is landing in the G CZW Tournament of Death 16 ring. Where'd he go? I can't even see him now, man. Oh, he's, he's hovering. The glare is hovering, man. Fucking aliens. All right, we're back over here. It's still early. It's almost two, but the show is not going to start on time. As people are still filling in, everybody's tailgating. It's having a great time, man. Look at you know the cars just go back rows and rows and rows. I might take a walk over there, but it's hot out, guys. Uh, yeah, there you go. You got the little inside view. Of CZW TOD 16. Get here. Oh, hi, Stoffer. Oh, hello. Cheers. Will, where you at, Will? What's well, up, Will is going to be the DD to get us all home tonight. All right, I'll drive. <laughs> all right, everyone. So it is around two o'clock now, but as you can see, the line is still going, and the show is supposed to start at two. I do not believe it'll start until at least three, at the earliest. You get over here. There's going to be plenty of merchandise available. And, uh, you know, they're still filling in. It's going to be a while. Any fans, when you bring the weapons, just bring them over here. They'll figure out what they want to use. And that is uh, Baratista right there. Trampoline of death. <laughs> Look at this man love at CZW TOD. Damn right. And it's my birthday, I got my horse. <laughs> Russell. Yo, what's up, TJ? He is always at CZW. We are here once again to celebrate holy blood bath of a time. Only at TOD. Yeah, my man. Ultra violent at its best. Friend Lyle over here. Oh, Lyle, you the man. I'll try. 
get some shots of all the weaponry here that's going to be used during the show. As you can see, the staff works really hard for what they do, man. You know, putting these weapons together, you got to be creative, man. The fans always bring stuff, and it, you know, it just never ends, man. I get a little closer here. Look at all this stuff over here, man. Don't want to step on a tube by accident. I believe that's a pile of shit that the fans brought. Oh man. Oh, look at this, man. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to come over here. Man. Look at that shit. What in the hell is that? Is that Thor's hammer? I think it's gonna be Thor's hammer. I believe this was Kevin Hogan's box of death, man. And it's, everything's getting scattered around, dude. This is some, it's gonna be a wild fucking show, man. And I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so there's a shot of all the weapons, man. Getting a backstage view of what's going on. And uh, man, this is gonna be a badass show, man. <laughs> Lyle C. Williams is gonna be taking photos, man. Make sure you check out his photos, man. I'll be working half the show today. Half the show, yeah. <laughs> Good, I don't blame you, man. It's gonna be rough out there, dude. Oh my God. I feel bad for you guys out there when I see you get bl blasted with glass. I'm just like, Hey, me getting these glasses was the best decision I ever made, man. I gotta yeah. get mine. You better put those fuckers on. <laughs> Lyle, I will see you out there, brother. I will be out there. My man. Shortly the show's about to start. So the reason why I ask you so that they don't come and try to tell us we have to stop the show for some bullshit. So will you guys help us keep the show going and see the fuck out the way? Yeah. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, the best fans, the most ultraviolet fans in the world. It wasn't for you guys to knock them out here do what I like to call the Woodstock and Deathmatch Wrestling. James is going to get this DVD done and edited and oh, up. He's the guy who does all this. He'll be on CZWstudios.com. He is the reason that this functions. Last but not least. Kevin Hogan. Today you blessed us with beautiful weather. Great fans, and a whole lot of fucking rubber chickens are going to be out there today. So Muffin King, I know you're up there somewhere in the sky, watching down. Today's for you, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, we're going to start Tournament of Death 16! So we're about to start the first match as Cannonball makes his way to the ring. He's going to be taking on G Raver, Cinder Blocks, Light Tube, Death Match for the opener of this tournament. And again, I can't really record what's going on in the ring like some of the other normal vlogs you do, like I do. Get the fucking videos, man. The digital download. Get on the CZW Network, man. CZW Studios. But I will take a couple shots, I'm sure. Some big spots. You know, fuck it. Why not? And as this match is about to start, they never usually do this, but it is literally so packed with people coming, they are still pouring in here, man. I think they have run out of fucking parking in this place, man. So if you guys um, are going to watch this vlog, I'm going to give spoiler alerts in here for people. So if you don't want to hear what the results and want to watch the DVD, digital download, all that stuff, don't listen to what I'm going to say. Um, Jeff Cannonball just advanced there, and uh, he's going on the next round. And D-Raver, I hope you're okay, man. That box spot looks really bad, man. Hoping you're all right, dude. All right, Will, can you assist me as I make some more whiskey? Well, not some more. My first whiskey and coke, man. I took it as a... As an, oh shit, I fucked up board. As DJ said in the beginning of the show, he's like, everybody just get fucked up and have a good ass time. We're just following his words. Yeah, we're following your words of wisdom there, DJ. 
And I also want to say, as I see, there are still cars coming in here, and this parking lot is beyond packed, man. I'm really hoping that it doesn't become a clusterfuck because there's only one way out and that they turn around. Hopefully it doesn't happen because that could be really bad. But it is literally insane. There are still cars coming in, man. Yeah. Shit show coming out, man. It's going to be awesome, though. Fuck you, Stauffer. <laughs> All right, next up we got Clint Margera. Don't really know much about him as we're just talking. And uh, Connor Claxton, man. Again, got to get the digital DVD, man. I don't know what's going on here, but Stauffer's over here climbing on the fucking scaffold. Connor brought it outside the ring of real last year, but there's so many more people, man. I thought they were going to use the trampoline over there, but they did not. So we didn't miss it. Stauffer. Stauffer. I saw you run up on the... the... I tried. Yeah, you thought it was happening. You thought... I know, right? <laughs> oh, shit. He's going up on a truck for that barbed wire trampoline over there, I believe. Both men making their way up to the truck. Connor Claxton did this last year leaped off of it. There is a bar Claxton advances again. Spoiler alerts, guys. Don't watch if you want to know the results of the show. Are you giving Schlack the finger? We're giving the crowd the finger because fuck everyone, fuck humanity, fuck everything, fuck God. No God. Holy fucking Schlack! Alright, Stalker moved his core up, and now he's in our fucking way. God damn it, Stalker. Slack in the side, man, the match I'm waiting for, dude. Shut up! Stalker made the side of his shirts today. Thought he forgot him. It's a good thing he did. The side of him fucking killed him. We 
just saw an awesome. Oh, they're trying to break this pane of glass and it just won't break. We just saw a spot with all three men with three panes of glass. Oh! CZ Dub! CZ Dub! CZ Dub! CZ Dub! CZ Dub! CZ Dub! Devin, how do you stay in such amazing shape, man? I want the same pizza. Beer, beer, pizza diet. This is appropriate. Get the death match. Love that guy. Your favorite wrestler, Kit, just hit Dan O'Hare with a chair. Oh, okay. Can you give us a, what were you just saying about Kit? Uh, me and him are always giving each other shit, so. Y'all give him some shit now. <laughs> you were yelling, fuck you, kid. Yeah, the one time he, he actually came down and actually got in my face. Like. Oh! Kit! Oh! George, Jimmy, Kit, Dan. Going at it strong, man. Jimmy just took a fucking weed whacker. Holy shit. Fuck you, George Gatton, you piece of shit. That door says yes. fuck you and it is being doused with lighter fluid right now. There is a lot of fire this year. Set the little boy on fire. Kevin Hogan will be so proud right now. Set on fire! Holy shit, Kit! This looks dangerous. Yeah, this looks very dangerous. What a convenience. What a convenience. No. The door also was spray painted with fuck you. Yeah! Dan O'Hare. That's the best. Black boy. Ladies and gentlemen, the oh, winner of this kid. contest, Big Scare! Oh, kid's all wet. <laughs> so do you have a little more respect for Kid Oscar? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> To say uh, dojo words. Uh, <laughs> I'll step in the ring with him. I do that shit. What I want to know is if they're going to return this back to a normal trampoline so DJ Hyde's fucking nephews can jump on it and shit, or he's just going to let them jump on it like this. Who knows? Like, As every fan walks by and touches it and goes, ouch, I think I'll try it. Mmm, feels good. The merchandise, the food area, and the food exit area, the shitter. Everyone's packing over here during intermission. G. Raver, man. We were just having a little conversation about the spot in the ring. You all saw it. I mean, I did get a shot of that. That was bad, dude. I mean, yeah. It, it just snuck the shit out of me. Like, as soon as it happened, and it, 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 uh, you know. You could tell, like, like you just said, you couldn't breathe really. No, I couldn't fucking breathe at all. Like, I knew it right away. And I said, you feel okay now, though? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I'm, you sound like you're out of breath right now, yeah, man. Yeah. You sure you're all right, dude? I'm laughing and shit, it kind of hurts, but I'm just, I'm enjoying it because I'm hearing some positive stuff still, you know, about the match and stuff. It was good. It was very entertaining, man. Oh, man. Like I said before, you know, that was my favorite match, you and uh, Jeff at uh, OPW, dude. You guys fucking killed it. So, again, I was like, it was nice to see you guys in there again at CZW. I you felt, like yeah, definitely, man. It was a great stage to do it on, and, like, we, Lots of we feel like we did enough. Lots of fucking people yeah. are here, dude. It's awesome. They were still coming in while you guys were yeah. wrestling. It was still after the shit match was over. I was like, damn, they're It was funny, too, and I was here, and I hear, I saw a lot of bitch in this, uh, the past few days online about people, you know, not liking deathmatch wrestling and stuff. You can have your opinion on deathmatch wrestling or whatever. You don't have to do it. I'm not saying anything. But look at this fucking crowd. Thank you. You're There's telling me. You, you try to tell me that this isn't worth it. 
Yeah. You can't. There's just no fucking way. When you have a crowd like that, you go in there. You know, that's you gotta perform yeah. in at your best, man. Yeah, hundred percent. And there is a fucking audience for it, obviously, motherfuckers. You see all these fucking people here. So all you people that yeah. do talk shit about deathmatch yeah. wrestling, then don't fucking watch it. Everybody yeah. has different opinions and different genres and styles. Like, like I said before, like met, like rock music and all that Sub -genres shit. Genres of every fucking genre. Yeah, like every, <laughs> just like when like certain kind of music comes up. Like that ain't music. You know, your parents like that ain't music. You're like you're like their parents. Like that ain't wrestling. Well, shut the fuck up and don't go and don't watch it. That's it. You know? Speaking of music, I want to I want to point out one fucking thing. I, I I failed to get my music out to the music guy. So whatever I fucking came out to was some radio fucking rock fucking shit. I don't like that shit. I fucking hated that. That's my fucking the thing I hate about that fucking match. It was my. Well, music. Make sure you tell the editor to dub over your theme music. So I will. I'm sure you can do I that. We'll so. figure something. Make out. it some like no mercy theme. I'm fucking good. <laughs> Dude, fucking love you, man. All right, man. Cheers, Thank bro. you, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Definitely. I'm going to go sell some shirts. Do it, man. You make, right. that, make that money. Hell yeah, man. Love you, brother. Love Thank you, you. Thank you, man. All right, I'm not going to overstep my boundaries and go back there. You know, I don't have full permission. Never really actually asked DJ. But, uh, you know, this is where all the men, you know, hang out, talk, get cleaned up. And uh, here it is. You see a lot of blood going down, man. For the Masada, man. You gotta get him to sign it? Yeah, I'm gonna have him sign it. Boy. They're over there doing their merch. Doing the merch. Doing the merch, all bloodied up, you know, meeting their fans. How it should be, always should meet your fans. I just witnessed Jeff Cannonball and Connor Claxon kissing in the ring, and it was everything I ever thought it could be. The crowd is following the show. I don't have anything to say aside from murder, death, kill. I just wanted to be on this video because I've been on a bunch of them in a row, but it's tournament at that. TOS was the ultraviolet Christmas. This is ultraviolet Hanukkah. Uh, MDK all day, Nick Gage. Fuck yeah, TJ. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. I have a there was a watermelon just in the rain, guys. I've never seen that before. Fucking gal. <laughs> I saw Slack out here getting pictures with all his fans. It's awesome, dude. Hey, can you see me? <laughs> can you see me? Dude, my vision's just as bad right now, man. You know, your one eye is probably better than my two oh. fucking eyes. <laughs> That's what happened, man. What's up with the eye? Uh, skewers went by and scraped my cornea, and the contact came out. And now I look this beautiful forever. You know what I mean? You look nice in the glasses, man. Do, yo, do they make me look sophisticated? Very more professional when I see with the glasses. I like to think, before I looked like I robbed a bank. Now I look like I would be the manager in the bank. Right? <laughs> okay, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest and <laughs> Connor Claxon advances. Yeah, round two, man. Man. He's on to the front. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Cannonball. You the man. Go, Cannonball. Woo! Hold the curtain over. Hey, dude, everybody. This is uh, DJ Hyde's father. I want to say first of all, thank you for allowing him to do that. That is it's so cool and see how much it's grown now, dude. It's, oh, yeah, it's gotten bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's, it, awesome. it's just going to keep getting bigger, man. Yeah, it's not going to stop. I hope it does for him. You know? <laughs> you proud of him? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, we put him over though. We should watch wrestling at all times. You got him into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, why he's doing it. Uh, so you're basically, if you think about it, if you, you know, the fact there, you're the reason why this is all happening, man. Honestly, yeah, you think about it. Man. Pretty much. Well, that's cool. Well, he's the reason why it's happening, but, you know, like I said, we are. Like wrestling, you know. That's awesome. I mean, WWE. 
Uh, he needs reception. What's the other one? ECW. ECW, man. Go ahead and find him. Yeah, where, where would they be at on the other side of the I'll let you go, man. Probably down on the floor. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. Like, again, thank you for everything no you allowed problem, to do. No problem. Man. Got a beautiful piece of land here, man. Yep, yep. thank you, thank you. <laughs> here, well, you all know him, Jeff Cannonball. You just right. saw him in the ring, man. Devin Moore. Hold on, Devin Moore. By the way, your makeout scene. What, what, wait, what did you think about the makeout scene in there? Oh, I, was, I was thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> makeout scene. I got a dick. dick a my, I already ruined my fucking joke. I get. I'm hurt. Uh, it's all good, man. I don't want to take up time because I want to go and watch this match too. But uh, oh, yeah. what, I brought up to G Ray where that one, uh, the one botch spot was very scary, man. I'm just glad you know he's alright. You're alright. You know. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he seemed like he was out of now. breath a little bit. You keep an eye on him. Well, man. when I pinned him, uh, as soon as. I was done. I could tell he was not yeah, happy. So he I, still seems out of breath. Yeah, man. yeah. His his voice isn't there. No. It's weird. I don't like it. Him, dude. Definitely. But you know, I love you, brother. I Thank you for what you do, man. Appreciate you. Man. I appreciate you. Take care. Take care. Man. All right. Currently going on the ring is the second uh, semifinal match, and then we got the main event. Whoever wins this goes to the main event against Connor Claxton. We've got Masada, Jimmy Hatton, man. Oh, looks like Devin got the they got the jumper cables. DJ's dad got the jumper cables for Devin, and uh, he's gonna be entering the ring. It's tractor. Give a card. Yes. The guy who hates us. He's, he's, he's drinking Strongbow. <laughs> Fucking Boulevard bullies. Get the fuck out of here. DJ, <laughs> Boulevard bullies. You leave Joe Gates alone. Subscribe to <laughs> YouTube.com <laughs> forward slash BLVD bullies <laughs> right now. They gotta go to the porta potty and put some porta potty. We sang karaoke with Joe Gacy. Oh, all right, so you're not you. bullying him. Okay, just making sure. Okay. I love that he drinks strong Here, let me, let me have some of that. Right. That's my favorite kind of saving for last. That's the last one. No. I don't read the tower of lights. You just went down. Alright, I'm squeezing through trying to get through, and Stalker puts his fucking nice. bottle cap yeah. on my fucking shoulder here. How the fuck did you manage that? You don't have skills. What are you gonna do about it? And they continue to do the foot, foot pouring of the water. Not me, and I'm all fucking muddy and shit. I'm not sure, but I think they're going back over to that fucking trampoline again. Barbed wire trampoline. Gotta use it twice, man. That's just classic. Oh, maybe not. Welcome to CZW UK Pussy. I take it that he just beat him? He won that? I didn't even hear a bell or is he just out there? It's hard to see, guys. I apologize. Looking awesome, man. Secret identity. I'm trying to crack some hide his face from everybody. Alright. I apologize. The match is still going on. I thought it. I was like, I didn't hear a bell or anything. Again, I can't say again, man. You guys got to get the DVD of this, and also yeah. Vice is here, I believe, and just you know, support him, man. This whole show is awesome, and if you really want to experience it, come to the fucking show. That is a real table in the ring, there, man. Like the ECW days. I haven't seen one of those in a while. My friend Tyler was just saying that. I've that's right. We have not seen one in a while, but there's light tubes on there as well. Seriously, it's been a long time. Two count, as he puts him through that table, it did not break. As we just said, it's a real fucking table. Dude. He might do it one more time here. I'm gonna roll on this one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's so table's hard to break. Go back to Russia! Go back to Russia. Oh, shit! Dildos, this is all the 
Oh, Dildo drilled a Tremont's asshole. Dildo died. Oh, Dildo to the mouth of Man Man Pondo. Put it in his mouth! Some type of pile of kids' toys in there. You're saying, do it for the kids! Man Man Pondo just takes a mannequin arm and scratches his balls in the ring with it instead of using it as a weapon. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! I just seen one of the craziest things ever. I didn't get it on video, but dude, Matt Tremont was hung upside a tree and whoa, with a stop sign in front of his face, and Maven Pinel didn't roll it in him. He fucking pegged him in the face with it. Oh man, physics, my dude. I didn't think that in college, dude. I hope you're all right, Tremont. I want to look fucking insane. Do it again. Do it again. No, no, he's bowling at this time. I want to see strike. I'm not even kidding guys, that bowling ball stop sign, that's a highlight reel video. Holy shit, man. How do you know about his sexual life? And Stauffer, will you stop fucking dumping water on my goddamn feet? What is it with you guys that are dumping the water on people's feet? That's expensive water there, and it doesn't say your name on it. It says fucking Elise's name, so stop wasting all that fucking water. There's a bike! A six is there a bike in the ring? Oh shit! Oh shit, we got a poor little kid lost his bike. Is Pondo gonna ride it? Again, this is a fans bring the weapons match, so you know the fans get a little crazy here. They bring, they bring whatever the fuck they can do. But uh, this is good. Pondo just. They were full. They were full beers. What a waste of beer. It's Miller Lite. It's fine. Oh yeah, fuck it's water anyway. It's water anyway. So it's just piss water. Exactly. This is the Mexican piss water making you sick. That's what I'm saying. It's like yo. There you go, that's no Tremont backed off from Pondo, so he can't do it to him, but... Oh, oh, oh the pegs and all the fucking pedals. Ding, ding! Oh, my God, dude. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Tremont! Father, Matthew Tremont just won that. That was an awesome weapons match, guys. Pondo, man. Matt even stopped. He's like, I can't do this. And Stumper's dumping fucking water on my feet again. Will you fucking stop? <laughs> fucking asshole. But seriously, those, those two spots with the bike and the bowling ball, man. Not yet. Maybe after a while. Turn that shit around. Oh, this is what he stapled to. Yeah, with yeah. that staple bat, dude. That's the staple bat. That is yeah. awesome. Yo, yeah, what about the three. bowling ball? That was disgusting. Into the, they, he pegged him in the fucking face with it. He hit it. him right in the face with it. I was worried. I was like, dude, what the fuck? That was bad. That was really bad. That was Matt Tremont. I, I worry about you, man. Dude. Fondo <laughs> just rode the bike in the ring. It's like riding it, the bike. You got it. Just the fans what I just want to tell each and every one of you, I was just telling my buddy Terry Harper that I think death matches are dying. No, they're not! Look around! Look around! But I sat back there and watched every car wait patiently to get in here and watch some death matches! Hell yeah! Which... I don't know how many we are. 300, 400, <laughs> more than that. 500, 1500. The thousand of you. Woo! I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming and checking this out. Hell yeah, Pondo! 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 Bringing the scaffold in, everybody's in the way. We're painting the ass. Not sure yet. Rondo. Thank you, Pondo. Yo, it's your man, dude.
I don't do it. Fair uh, enough. Especially in front of Kayla. Alright, so they're setting up for the scaffold match here. Try to have a conversation with Matt Schumann real quick and make the match. It's going to be hard. Try to do both, but you know, we'll see what happens. Here we are again. <sighs> Father Tremont. Yes. Matt Tremont, man. I was just saying to him, I said the bowling ball spot. That's what everyone's talking about. He did not just roll it. He fucking pegged you. And the only thing yes. between your head was that stop sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I saw stars after that. Oh, I can imagine, man. Holy. I, dude, I, I wish the crowd was more crazy. You know, there's a lot of new fans here tonight. But yeah, yeah that should have been like, holy shit, for like a yeah. minute, dude. <laughs> holy shit. Yeah, that was dude. fun. That was nostalgic with Pondo in there, so that was cool. It was awesome. That was dude. fun. I like fun. when you stopped. You're like, I just I can't do it. And uh, we all knew it was calm. I was like, oh, and then the bike spot two on his back. I was a like, bicycle. Oh, he got a bicycle. With the pegs. That's the Watch your mini open. Thank you, man. <laughs> uh, no problem. Thank Take you guys for having fun, dude. Thank you. Always. All we right. got platforms and shit. Dude, scaffold, platforms, Drew Blood. <clears throat> you, you tell me, who else is in this? Drew Blood and Devin Moore against Danny Havoc and a mystery a opponent. Mystery opponent, man. Possibly a Tatanka. That's Tatanka? What That's what I've heard. I just had a thought right now, it'd be a great video, you know, because Danny, how you sunk the car over there. You and Devin riding on there, it's like, all right, it's time to go home. He's riding the tractor, you're on the back. Looks like we're taking this home, boys. <laughs> well, I hope you get that car out of there, man. I know you will. <laughs> He's the mystery partner here. Win it so 
so much craziness that just happened there. Short match, but Devin was hurt. I'm sure they, you know, didn't quite know what to do there, man. And Alex, I don't know, Alex is standing. Actually, I'm looking at him right now. That a boy, man. Devin, I hope you're all right, dude. Danny just said, fuck these tails. These tails are just this was meant to indestructible. Be the final nail in the coffin. My man Jimmy. My man, dude. Thank you as always. Love you. Keep it safe. Ready for the main event? Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. That fucking weed whacker sucked, Yeah, that is it, man. It never looks. You know what? You know, I me, mean, I wander around, but the fans were They were very excited. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was awesome. Is uh, Devin alright back there, man? Yeah, I think so. Okay, alright, good. Jimmy always been talking to me, man. Back to back shows for H2O. Now we turn to death, man. Crazy I'm doing to him at death. 19. 19, dude. Crazy. It's awesome, dude. Fucking love. We love him. Do it. Keep doing it, dude. Alright, buddy. I'll see you. I don't know what's going on over here, but it looks like it's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god! This is fucking disgusting. Look at how this progresses through the night. That is disgusting. Kit, man, the match. I saw you know shit happens, and you had to come out. And you just yeah, it was awesome, dude. I know you saw you laughing. You're like, is my phone still working? He had his phone in his fucking pocket and all. <laughs> that was, it, oh, that's the biggest payoff. Right shit there. happens in these death matches, and sometimes, you know, shit happens. Devin got hurt, and, you know, Kit stepped up and got in there, man. And you already went through. You did some flaming table shit, and that was awesome, dude. Yeah, stuff I've never done before. I'm not going to lie, honestly, because I haven't been able to keep up with CZW too much, but, you know, I honestly didn't really know who you were until tonight. And now I know who the fuck you are, man. I'll be looking forward to watching you some more, dude. Right, it's your you. first time doing death match stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Today, uh, earlier, was the first time I ever did it, and then, um, you know, about, it had to be like two hours later. I didn't even take my gear off, and I'm, I'm starting to, as you can see right here, I have like one shoe on, the other one was loose, and I was like, none of my stuff's tied. I'm like, I, can I tie it? Like, yo, I have time. I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll just do out there. If I trip, I trip, whatever. And I just did it, and, uh, oh, man. Right, so I didn't realize it was still, like, bleeding. Uh, not that bad, man. Yeah. You know, you've seen worse in this industry. You see how bad some of these guys bleed, so. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm still not used to it. I, mean, I get, like, a paper cut, and I'm just like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> Dude, awesome talking to you, man. Nice to meet you, TJ. Dude, my name is nice Pleasure to meet you, man. Thank you. For Thank you for me. proving yourself and you coming out there because I know it meant a lot to Danny. I saw his face and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was confused because I was like, what happened? How did he come out here? I was like, oh shit. I wish I knew too, man. I mean, you know as much as I do. So, like, to going out there, I mean, you know, it's. I mean, I would do it for you know any, anybody that's in, you know. In the that's what it's all about, you know. It's yeah. awesome, man. Good man. Dude, thank you for having me. Cheers, bro. All right, everybody. I see this camera a little too much. Sorry. Yeah, I know you just saw it last night. <laughs> Alex Blair, True Blood. I want to just talk about, first of all, you know, what happened there. Is, uh, is Devin doing all right? Yo, man. <laughs> sure. Human is this ginormous. You know, the capability to have faults. That's how we learn from our mistakes. No shit happens, man. You know, simple so, step rule is that rule, man. man. I have seen people break their ankles. And second of all, are you two all right after going off that yeah. fucking scaffold? What in the fuck, dude? Crazy <laughs> Holy uh, shit, dude. That was fucking insane, insane dude. Uh, like Honestly, <laughs> I just said to him, I was like, when are we landing, man? <laughs> <laughs> that was high. Felt like you were falling forever. That was really high. <laughs> But that, that scaffold. Man. I feel worse for Ken Osborne because he came in. I was like, I'm just with somebody's ass. I'm pissed <laughs> off right now. <laughs> I was like, I'm with you guys. I went, Where's Devin? I'm your new partner. <laughs> Should have had stuff. We had some there, stuff Josh. that, you know, and it Grant, I mean, Danny Havoc was like, it was just, we were taken out. So it was, I, I can't, you'll thank me later, trust me. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't do shit about it. You just gotta. Take it, fucking. But I, 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 you gotta, yeah. listen, you gotta look at the, this way. It, it takes a lot of balls for a kid like that to step up. That's and what I just found it with. And he had his fucking self in his pocket. You listen, know, that's dude. how last minute, you know. Stupid. You Thank see God what we were off. working around on that scaffolding shit? Like, what right minded person would go, I'm gonna go in there and do this shit too, you know? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, fuck that. I love it. <laughs> I love that first man. light tube. I was getting yeah. excited. Yeah. 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 Well, you yeah. Dev hurt himself. As soon as you blocked me, I'm like, ooh. See, that's <sighs> what I loved it here. Yeah, the light. As soon as that light tube swing, you know, you're like, yeah. She hit me in the face, too, motherfucker. <laughs> you, with the fucking tubes. That was a face. Oh, I was like, oh shit, there's tube in my nose. Dude, I was, I had one in my eye. I was chewing on one. As, you know, as, 
I'm sorry. Hey, Fuck it. Like, That's a good. Yeah, I'll let you guys hey, do, man. I know you're doing your thing. I let you. The one thing is. But I, it's awesome though, man. People like the fans love to see this inside stuff, man. Yeah, but he, you don't need. I want to say first of all, welcome back, man. Yo, you know what you should do every part of that conversation. Be beep 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 beep. <laughs> yeah, like what were they saying? They're really cursing each other out. <laughs> <laughs> F bombs in there, like mini Nick Gage and shit. <laughs> F bomb in the world. All right, Scotty, turn around. I don't even know if I'm about. Man, you ain't got nothing wrong. Not, it's not like uh, Tangled Web. <laughs> that was Tangled Web. That was when you were really shredded up. Gentlemen, again, always awesome talking to you guys. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you for what you guys do, man. Fucking love it, dude. Keep doing it. I love it, man. If you like your windows, you wouldn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, DJ. Appreciate what you do. Say thank you. Thank you for sure, dude. Thank you. All right, everyone, main event time. Jimmy Havoc, Connor Claxton, and again, that goddamn spaceship, man, is on top of the ring, dude. Look at it, man. Goddamn aliens over here watching POD 16, man. Nah, it's joking around, that's going to be beautiful footage right there. I believe Bice is doing that. Down the drone. <laughs> Connor Claxton went to one of twos, man. <laughs> we don't talk about ISIS and CZW tournament. That's your problem. Fuck <laughs> ISIS and fuck all that bullshit you're doing. You're out cowards, man. Yeah. He's drunk as fuck. Watch the match as fuck. Masada lost. That's bullshit. Wait, who's drunk as fuck? I ain't drunk as fuck. You drunk as fuck. Get the hey, fuck out of here. You ain't seen. He said he was thirsty. <laughs> you ain't seen me drunk as fuck. I'm sorry. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> We're, we're just gonna cut. <laughs> Jimmy Havoc, we got Kill the Queen chance going on out here a moment ago. I'm honestly curious who's gonna win this, man. I know Connor Claxton, he deserves it, and I hope he does pull it off, but man, Jimmy Havoc, dude, you know, stop him around here. It's good for business, man. I don't know anything can happen, honestly. I don't know who's gonna win this shit. I was talking earlier, Thumbtack Jack, man. He, he won tour with death, man. German motherfucker, crazy as shit. I'm really enjoying uh, uh, Jimmy Havoc in there, man. Connor. Put him through hell! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! And once again, someone is injured. It is absolutely insane, man. Holy fuck, I hope whoever is hurt there is alright, man. I think Jimmy Havoc is hurt, man. You know, when you do all this shit, we almost saw Nick Gage die. He was airlifted before. I really hope that's not the case today. This crowd would have went fucking bananas. I would have saw girls' panties on the fucking table. Himself. He is bleeding really fucking bad, dude. Holy shit. And now they're grabbing lighter fluid? Connor's grabbing lighter fluid? What in the fuck? I got a feeling this match is about to end really quick. Fuck you. Connor, finish. We have a lot of fire today, man. Kevin Hogan. Oh my god. Reversal.
Wow. I called what did I say? What did I say? I called that shit. What did I say? Come on, give me a What did I say? Uh, Last year, the year ever goes. Call that shit. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's good for business, man. It's all that happening, dude. Look at everybody running out of here to beat the fucking crowd. It's hilarious. Look at him running. No, because they look terrible. Look at him running. Last tournament no. death ever. I'll, I'll still come to all the other shows I that I want to see. Respect. I give him respect. I give him respect. CZW, this is the last. He went through the harder bracket. No. He did it, man. He went through hell, man. Got this is the last the TOD line. that I drive to. No, it's not. No, it's yes, not. It yes, you you love to drink and you love death not yes, driving. I'll, I'll go to GCW. I'll go to GCW. Fail. A year ago, Matt Tremont stood in this ring and told me, when it comes to bleeding black and yellow, you fucking earned it. Jimmy, congratulations, man. Guys, badge of honor! Badge of honor! CCW graduate right here. Connor Claxton just said, fuck that, and he went, yes! Yeah! Claxon just went fucking chaotic, dude, and just fucked everybody up, including Jimmy. And just destroyed the trophy, man. Oh, man, dude. The fans are not happy about that. I don't mind. It's just a trophy. You can get another replica. <laughs> there he is, everyone. Born with that 16 winner. Yeah. Congratulations, man. And everybody's gonna be following him. It's just gonna be a lot of people. Camera crews and photographers everywhere. I'm gonna attempt to have a quick conversation with him, but it's gonna be very difficult because there is a lot going on for him after this. But you know, if I don't get it, I apologize. So DVDs are for, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of extra media out there. Like I said, Vice is doing a documentary today again. So we'll try. He's a real scumbag. Wow, like that trophy is just fucking bangle. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tall muscle. You know yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I know, I know. Sure. Let's get you to. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, it's gonna be host off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Great match, dude. I mean, that's massively, uh, gal. All right, I'm Connor Claxton, man. I got my heel now. I can get to the I was just telling him, man, the fans were pissed when you destroyed that fucking trophy, dude. A lot. Good. <laughs> the heel turn. <laughs> I love it, dude. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, man. Alright, now you know, the staff's taking down the ring and they gotta clean all this shit up, man. We did our best, you know, grabbed a bag from Emily, threw a lot of our empties out. Alright, now we're about to head out and get out of here. And I just told him, you know, he kept dumping water on my foot. Yeah, I'm limping now because I slipped with my sandal and like twisted my ankle. Really? Yes, thanks a lot, there, you dick. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> you gotta squirt the bottom. Alright, we're driving out of here, saying goodbye. Fuck you, Boulevard Bullies! Fuck you, DJ, DJ! I'll use you that car, Boulevard Bullies!
our boys. Forward slash <laughs> Lamar Boys. Uh, we'll boys. see you guys next time. I love you guys. Yes, love you too, bro. Thank yes, you, man. You. you be safe getting home. <laughs> You can keep going. All right, Havoc, I hope you guys get that car out of there, dude. It's still there, man. That shit's swimming, man. When I shit, I go swimming, man. My balls go swimming. Thank you for getting me home safe and sound. You guys enjoy your Chinese food. Yes. And get fucked. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Later, it was, be it safe. Was Text me when you get back so you know you got home. Good night. Right. Bye, guys. Later, guys. Thank you. For oh, man. All right, so I'm back home now. Um, I just got done reviewing what I vlogged today. Again, uh, awesome tournament death as always. You know, I'm never one to complain ever. I mean, the, what these men do in the ring and women, of course, when they're in there, you're never gonna see me fucking complain. I apologize if this isn't the best ending I've ever done to a video, but you know, that heat gets to you being out there all day and we got up 7.45 in the morning. Well, actually seven in the morning, Left at like 7.40, well, got uh, 8.15 or so, whatever. Sulfur was late, you know, whatever. But, um, and we were at H2O last night, and I <clears throat> edited the H2O show, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm exhausted. Heat exhaustion, drinking water now. But, um, try to get my thoughts uh, together here. Um, the show was awesome, as always. I'm never going to complain about it. Like I just said now, I'm repeating myself. But I'm never going to complain about a tournament of death. I mean, they're always so much fun. And some people were coming up to me. Because, you know, there's a GCW that's out there as well. You know, what did you favor more? What did you, you know... It's a different environment, man. I mean, the outside environment, that's what I love about Tournament of Death, and I'll always be there. I mean, like Christ, I think I'm up to, like, ten of them now. I've been attended. Unfortunately, I missed some, you know, six of them or so, seven. But, um... I honestly love both, uh, both companies, GCW. Uh, GCW's, um... Tournament of Survival was awesome. The crowd is a lot more dedicated fans, as um, uh, Tournament of Death tonight was a lot of new faces, and uh, a lot of them were a little quieter than you know usual. But that's okay, man. It, the it didn't change anything. You know, the ring, everybody still busted their ass in there as they always do, and it was very entertaining, man. Um, again, like I told you before, it's not going to be like the normal one where I shoot a lot of wrestling. It was more just like you know capturing fans behind the scenes stuff having some convos with some uh, wrestlers and stuff and i don't have the best equipment here obviously you know i'm just working with a basic consumer camera because i can't afford all that shit no external mic so you know it's nice to have all these memories man i'm sure these these guys will enjoy it and hell you know my friends and the other people that were just there you see yourself it's always fun to watch he'll watch this maybe 10 years from now even longer who knows it'll always be there i'm going to continue to try to get as many much wrestling video deathmatch wrestling video throughout the the next couple of years and hopefully put something together even if it's just like an hour documentary or something of just you know convo conversations with wrestlers and some highlights and there was a lot i wanted to do tonight but i didn't i wanted to go up to madman pondo but when i looked at see him he's exhausted man i'm not gonna go sit there and like talk his head off but if i could i would have went up to him and told him like you know i haven't seen madman pondo wrestle in Christ, since now I live in Seoul, but I did not live here. I lived in a little town, Delanco, in Riverside, and now I live in Seoul where all this stuff was going on, and we would drive out here, and I saw Madman Pondo and CZW. I forget who he was wrestling, but I'll never forget. It's like the first time we all got to, well, I got to experience the chair-throwing incidents, and we just all threw our chairs, buried somebody in the ring. Madman Pondo does a front flip off the turnbuckle, or jumps on him, ref counts, one, two, three, or he did, and... Match was over with a chair. The ring was full of chairs, but some wrestler on the bottom of them, and that was so awesome. And I wanted to bring that up to him, but he's been through so many matches. He probably, he probably don't even remember, man. He wrestles so much, dude. So many death matches. Um, as I went off there, my garage light shut off because I like to put the garage down. I don't want my neighbors walk by. They're like, who the fuck are you talking to, DJ? <laughs> I'm talking to this camera. I don't tell them that I like vlog and the shit I do. A lot of them, they're just like, actually, my neighbor knows I go to a death match wrestling because he actually. Um, trained to be a wrestler at one point in his life. He was into it a lot. He was going to ECW. I'm not going to bring up his name. I don't want you to go looking for where he lives and stuff, but it's kind of cool that I have that next door to me. Um, maybe I can get him over here one night and have a conversation. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, good times, man. If Again, if you've never experienced ECW Tournament Death, it's honestly something you need to experience once in, in your life, or at least keep experiencing if you want to. But I'm gonna tell you right now, bring fucking water. You know, we're all gonna be out there drinking and having a good time. But you gotta bring water with you, dude. I constantly hydrated. That's why I can actually have a conversation with you right now. Like a lot, I had a whiskey and coke because I watched the video. But uh, probably a bad idea. 
I <laughs> should be eating. <laughs> um, fuck, I'm sorry that this is, this will probably be very drawn out. But, you know, this channel isn't, you know, when I make these videos, it's not just about, like, you know, a video, it's like a conversation piece. If you guys ever want to comment, just have a good conversation about it, too. All the, you know, it's just, it's cool to have all this stuff, and I'm going to continue to get as much, and I apologize. A lot of it was sloppy, the wrestling stuff. Honestly, a lot of the wrestling will probably be taken out. Eventually, I end up sending this over uh, to DJ the raw footage and say, hey, man, because last year I had a problem when I, I vlogged last year and it ended up uh, getting taken down. CZW Studios took it down. It's a shame because I had like 35,000 views in like two weeks. Everybody was eating it up because CZW was blowing the fuck up. And as soon as I titled it CZW Tournament of Death, you know, everybody was like, oh. But it wasn't like the full show. I think there was like fucking eight minutes of some spots in there or something. But the rest was just all hanging out and having a good time. I'll eventually go back and fix that. He told me to send it to him. I never got around to doing that. This year, I'm going to try to make sure I do that. And hell, this might not be released for another year. Who knows, dude? I have so many, so many wrestling shows now and deathmatch stuff. And um, with the other companies like OPW and uh, H2O, Matt Tremont's companies, Loudy, and even GCW, you know, I just I won't release this stuff. I'm just here to spread the word of professional wrestling, especially deathmatch wrestling, and uh, get more people to be in tune with it and, you know, grow the audience. I think as I do these, I'm, I'm kind of helping a little bit, you know, it gets some decent amount of views, even if it's only like a thousand views, I mean, shit, maybe if ten new people show up, who knows, even maybe all thousand, but it won't, probably won't happen, but it's good memories, good times, I'm talking for only six minutes, fuck, man, and usually it's like, I feel like I've been on here for like 15, I'm so exhausted from the heat, last year I had the worst headache, I think when I came back, and I wasn't doing this and having conversations at the end, but like I said, I like to do this because I like to reflect on stuff and kind of remember what was going on and oh, oh dude, ugh, you want to know personally, when I got home, I went up, we got home around like nine o'clock, thank you again Stolfer for driving, um, got home, went upstairs to, to greet my girl, she's up there watching Orange is the New Black, because that shit got released yesterday, you know, I'll eventually watch it, it's a good show, but uh, I was like, how was the boys, I hope they were good for you, um, turns out our back room, their playroom, she didn't realize that the, the big glass doors were open, I guess the screen door or something wasn't on there connected, and they were quiet. She was like, oh, why are they being quiet for like three or four minutes? My oldest son, Brody, he knocked down the screen door. And Beckham has never even wandered in the backyard by himself. They were both out in the backyard by themselves by the fucking shed. And I, I remained calm, but in my head, I'm just like, as I came down here, I got really upset. I was thinking, I was like, fuck, that could have been really fucking bad, dude. Because we got a pool out back. There's a ladder to the fucking pool. Even though the bottom part is like adjacent and on there improperly. So my son, he's never tried to do it. But you never know, man. They, they try things new and that just scared me. I mean, really upset thinking about it. Kind of like really bummed my mood out. So I'm, again, I'm sorry. If this isn't, isn't that, I'm still thinking about that. So I got to really <laughs> make sure I take care of that. But um, I'm just going to end it. You know, again, thank you to... Uh, all you deathmatch wrestlers out there, dude, dude, professional wrestlers in general, especially deathmatch wrestlers, you guys fucking are like nothing else, dude. You guys are insane, and I love every moment of it, and I, you know, I have concern for you guys sometimes because I, you know, you see my reactions. I just, I don't want to see you guys ever really, really hurt. I know you can take little cuts and other stuff, but, man, sometimes it's, it's really bad, man. But, um, awesome show. The fans were pretty cool, too. Like, the normal fans are there, and like I said, the new fans, it's a little different for them, a lot of them, and I even saw, like, t two cars leave, three cars, I don't know. I kind of saw some, like, woman or guy with his girl, and it looked like she couldn't handle it. <laughs> I didn't film it, but she, like, left. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's not for everybody, man, but, uh, I don't know. And again, about the GCW, CZW thing, I honestly hope in the long run one day we see something go on where it's a work and it ends up being like a feud, like how we had, you know, WCW, NWO, and even ECW and WWE. I don't know. I mean, it could be something cool to work with. I mean, you know, Zandig knows how to do all stuff. Maybe you can work something out with all of them and figure it out. I don't know what the fuck even happened, but it's just competition. It's just like WCW and uh, WWF, WWE now. When uh, Turner, McMahon had all the crap and, you know, it's whatever. It's just competition, man. But it, competition makes you stronger and makes you realize you got to be more entertaining because the Monday Night Wars were the shit when I was a kid, dude. Fuck. You all know that as wrestler, the wrestlers that watch this and wrestling fans are like, that was the shit, dude. During Attitude Era, that was like, oh, Nitro, whatever the fuck it was, Monday Night Nitro, I don't know. It's good times. <laughs> and I hope to see some something similar with all this. And uh, again, I'm ranting on too much. It's been uh, almost 10 minutes. I feel like it's been forever. I'm so dehydrated. But I'm going to head to bed, wake up my kids tomorrow, and just uh, you know enjoy our day. Hopefully I'm, <laughs> I'm not like this tomorrow. But uh, again, thank you, 
And uh, again, guys, stop judging, start loving, accept others who they are, and just be yourself. Meow. Cheers, everybody. CZW TOD 16 in the books.